Today is a real boner of a day. And not because I can't grow a beard and I'm 22 years old, but because I had $2,130 of fishing rods stolen from me. And you know, I want to be pissed off about it, which I kind of am, but it's my own fault, so can't really do much about it. As a man, you kind of got to own up to your mistakes and you get over them. I almost always, when I come home from fishing, I grab my rods, I wash them off, and I bring them inside. I happened to, over the weekend, got home from fishing on Friday, got home late, left my rods in the back of my boat, which was in my driveway, but I left them in my boat, laid down inside my boat, and over the weekend, or that night, somebody stole all of my rods. And mainly the ones that I use all the time. So I had my Shimano Corrado on a G Loomis, a Johnny Moore Signature Series reel, a 3000 Shimano Sustain, a 300 Shimano Tranks, a 201B Calcutta, and a 1000 Shimano Stratic, all taken out of my boat and are gone. So, that is a huge bummer, but life goes on. So right now, I need to go buy a rod and reel, and I'm just gonna buy one, and I'm gonna guess I'm gonna buy a 3,000 or a 4,000 something really in between that's gonna have to kinda hold down the fort for all of the rods that are gone now. Yeah, I will literally never leave my rods out ever again, or anything for that matter. But that is life, you learn from your mistakes, I suppose. Right now, I'm heading to the tackle store, get new rod and reel and I will catch up with you guys and update you on what I get. Well I finally made it on the water and got a new setup here. It is a Shimano 4000 Stratic which I've had one of these before but the one before busted after about two years and this is a brand new one and then it is on a G Loomis E6X 7'6". And I really didn't, couldn't figure out what I wanted for a while. I was in the store for about an hour my buddy VJ helped me out. And I really couldn't decide what I wanted, whether I wanted a 3,000 or 4,000 because basically I just lost my whole entire arsenal of rods but I needed something that's gonna replace everything. And a 4,000 is pretty much your best bet for your all around inshore fishing rod, in my opinion. So, here's the new setup that you're probably going to see a lot of. The only two rods that were not stolen that you guys see very often are my Shimano Calcutta 400, so I still got the big swim bait rod, my little one got stolen, and then my Shimano Saragossa 6000, my big spinning rod. Those two made it, but <laughs> those are huge rods, and so I didn't have anything to throw smaller lures with, so we had to get this bad boy. It's a very beautiful setup, it's extremely nice, and uh, it's gonna have to do the job for a while here. On a brighter note, today's video is brought to you by Mystery Tackle Box. If you don't know what they are, they are a subscription-based company. They send you dope lures to your mail every month. Very cool, helps you become a better angler because you try different things. So, we're gonna bust into this, use these lures from this box today and see if we can catch some fish. Right off the bat, a absolute monster diving plug right here. This is gonna be cool because I have my Calcutta, so we will troll this bad boy. We'll start with this and troll this in the idle zone and see if we can find some fish. Then, some small little lures, some little glass minnow presentations right here. These are perfect. Fish in the winter time are feeding on a ton of little greenies and little glass minnows. These are perfect baits, as well as this diving minnow. That's gonna be perfect for everything. So we got some good things to work with thankfully here. So we're gonna start with this trolling plug while we make our way to our spot and then we'll probably throw some of these smaller baits. But it is time to start fishing and get over the, uh, yeah, like get over being a baby, I don't know. All right, just finished moving to our first spot. We're really gonna start fishing. No bites on that huge trolling plug. That's one of those things where I knew throwing it back, like it's why the hell not, and it's either gonna get knocked down by a huge fish or not touched at all. We are gonna start off throwing a jerk bait right here, a diving minnow. It's a diving minnow, but you can work it like a jerk bait, and that's how I like to do it. This is a Yuzuri crystal minnow. These things are money. Jerk baits in general are probably one of the best all around baits you can throw in shore, because they work for basically every species of fish. Snook will hit them, jack, trout, grouper, everything will hit a jerk bait. They're awesome. So that's what we're gonna start off with, see if we can catch a fish, break in the new 4,000 here. We're gonna get at it. 
All right, we got some good tide movement. We're gonna be making long search casts along beaches and dock areas. And we have a seven foot six rod here. So we should be able to throw this plug about a mile here. And we're just gonna be pulling it back, rip it a little bit, let it pause. Got a brand new rod to break in, some brand new lures. Life's looking up. I've been throwing bait casters so much lately. I forgot how much I love throwing a spinning rod. Ooh, I just got whacked right there. Missed it. Oh my God. Huge wake. What the heck? I must have hit something. I don't think a fish hit that. Gosh, I must have put it over the back of like a turtle or a manatee or something. That was a fish. It was a freaking 70 pound jack. <laughs> little jack but I don't know what I hit before though that I don't what the heck <laughs> oh my gosh get out of here all right see you buddy oh god okay there's my culprit for what I whacked in the back with a plug and man just popped its head up right there sorry buddy oh there's a whack right there Damn, maybe we'll come back for it. Definitely didn't get hooked. I got whaled. When you're fishing docks, some of the best casts you can make is a parallel cast like this to the dock. And we're gonna burn this pretty quick down the dock line because we're just trying to get a reaction strike of maybe a snook or jack, whatever, hanging up in there. And so it's running across as much structure as possible. Oh, gosh, there's a fish chasing it right there. Oh, it's a tiny jack. Okay. All right, but see what I mean? Fish come after it. So we're trying to run this along the edge of the dock as well as we can here. I'm gonna hit both sides. Might try it a little slower, give it some breaks in between. Nada. But you do that on a lot of docks, you're gonna produce fish doing that. Parallel cast are your friend. All right, we are gonna switch it up and put something else on. Got one fish on the plug. But nothing really seems super interested in it. It's a great lure, but we're going to try something different. All right, got a little top water on right here. This isn't from the mystery tackle box, but the timing is right, and we need to be throwing a top water right now. It's perfect conditions, so we're going to slowly just cover some ground and walk this little top water bait. Let's see if we can find a snook or a jack. God, <laughs> that was sweet. I got caught in that branch and I pulled it out of the bushes and that thing came down and wailed it. That must be a jack. Yeah, I can already see it. That was awesome though. That was such a cool eat. I am being torn apart by bugs right now. Oh my gosh. It's kind of what I get for wearing shorts and a short sleeve shirt here. Ooh. Get a little bit of drag pulling in on the new reel. That feels nice. Oh. All right, not a big one, not a tiny one, but it feels good to catch a fish that can at least pull some drag on the new setup. That eat was really awesome. I was pulling it over a branch and he came up and wailed it the second it pulled over the other side of the branch. We'll release him. Off he goes. I would love to catch maybe one more fish. It is getting dark. I'm being murdered by bugs right now, but we'll keep throwing. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice, follow that up right there. I think that was a snook, the way of putting wake off like that. Ooh, come on, he didn't get it, didn't get it. Didn't get it again, didn't get it again, didn't get it again.
Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was about to turn to the camera while I was making that retrieve and say, is that like the most pristine looking cast and retrieve you've ever seen? Coming right across this mangrove line at dark. I'm not sure if that was a little snook or a little jack or what that was, but they were struggling to eat this little top water. There it is again. Oh, it's a ladyfish. That's what it freaking is. All right, no wonder. Things just got a lot more clear in my head. For some reason, ladyfish they just have small mouth and they have such a hard time of holding on to baits. All right, it's probably very dark and difficult to see me, but we need to make a run kind of closer to the boat ramp because it's pretty much dark out right now. But I still want to try to catch one more fish. So. We're gonna run close to the boat ramp and we should probably hit a dock light once we see a good looking one and see if we catch snuff. All right, we're gonna hit some dock lights here. It's kind of hard to film with the uh, dock lights, so I'll have my back camera going here. Let me show you what we're gonna throw. First, we're gonna start off throwing this little bad boy right here. This is called a Mad Dad. It's in the mystery tackle box. It's a perfect little bait fish imitation. We'll see if it works. It might be a little big, but we'll see what happens. If that doesn't work, have our little swim bait. This is one of my favorite type of things to throw around dock lights. You really slowly crawl these across the bottom, and a lot of times they get wailed on. Because mainly what fish are feeding on dock lights glass minnows and bugs and shrimp and crustaceans so that's the deal we're gonna start throwing try to catch maybe one or two more fish i can already see some snook on this light right here oh one oh gosh i just got wailed on damn one came out so fast for Oh, one's on it, man. Come on. Look at that. <laughs> they are freaking fired out here. I'm gonna take this mad dad off. I've never seen fish chase down a lure on a dock light so ferociously as that, but they're just not closing the deal on it for some reason, but they're chasing it around. So I'm gonna put something a little smaller presentation on. I'm gonna put that kind of little orange tiger colored swim bait back on right here. We're gonna burn this under there and we'll try to uh, work it pretty quick. If it's not working quickly, we're gonna slow it down and just slow drag the bottom with it. All right, this might be the last light we hit because I just kind of remember the ramp I launched that closes at dark and that was like an hour ago, so. Oh gosh, the second I landed, someone wailed the crap out of it. There's the fish. A little snook right there. Second cast. Oh. <laughs> He's going nuts. Oh, there he goes right there. I deserve that. It's all right. <laughs> That's a jack, but oh my gosh, about to rip the rod out of my hands. This thing's tiny, too. <laughs> I wish I would have landed that snook, but uh, life goes on. Here's our consolation prize. A little dock-like Jack Craval right there. There's another fish. That is Jack Craval again right there from the head shakes I'm feeling. <laughs> the dock lights are very alive tonight. All right, well, he came off, but i uh, not too heartbroken about losing a Jack, to be honest. All right, I desperately need to get home. I have time to fish. I will see you guys back at the house. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Huge shout out to Mr. Tackle Box for the hookup. If you want to check them out, I have a code below. You can check out their website. You definitely should, and you get some money off on your first box. That will be below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You know, I was definitely bummed out filming this video, and I still am. This is the next morning, and 
you know, it sucks, but life goes on, I suppose, and one of the best ways to get over having a crappy day is to go fish and have a good day out in the water. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff that helps me out, helps us out grow. Exciting new things coming soon. So be on the lookout for some good announcements here. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. Until next time, see ya.